Rachel Odede says Namibia is ahead of her regional and global peers in terms of delivering social protection services to citizens. Namibia is one of the top five countries in sub-Saharan Africa whose social safety nets are largely supported by government. In the 2016-17 financial year, government spent about 3.5% of GDP on social safety nets and close to 230,000 vulnerable children have benefited. However, this progressive record is threatened by population trends, climate change and the global economy instability. Latest high inflation rates in the country reminds us that the real value of the monthly grant per child has dropped significantly, making it harder for vulnerable families to cope. Odede raised the concern that the lack of birth certificates makes it difficult for Namibia to increase coverage of available social grants and services to children, especially in remote areas. She further stated that in rural areas, more needs to be done to make child-sensitive social protection and to the plight of vulnerable children a priority. UNICEF believes the lack of raising awareness pertaining to social grants do not reach the vulnerable. We therefore stress the importance of working with traditional and religious leaders in this regard. We need to speak out publicly on these matters and to explore appropriate methods to inform citizens of their rights. Stakeholders at the event discussed ways to harmonize all social protection activities to fully benefit all Namibians. Renata Renkura, NBC News. Swakop Munt.